Hello everybody, welcome to this video. We are going to be taking a look at personal access tokens. This is gonna be a really quick video because this is all about just destroying the personal access tokens that you happen to have in your server environment. Uh, word of caution, this is going to destroy all of your personal access tokens. So this is um, kind of a niche endpoint that we're touching on here. Uh, however, it could be handy if you have uh, many access tokens. So over here on my screen, I'm going to view personal access tokens that are currently active in my server environment. And just to demonstrate, this, uh, these personal access tokens do span across all of your sites. So I'm a site administrator, uh, or sorry, server administrator on this server. And um, we can see these tokens that I made. Well, these tokens exist if I go into another site. So they are not site specific. Uh, do be careful about that. If you are nuking your personal access tokens, you're not just removing them from one site, you're removing them, uh, all the ones that this administrator account made, um, or that all of your administrators made. Uh, so we can see the endpoint here described on Tableau Server's REST API documentation. It says, revokes all personal access tokens created by server admins. Um, so let's just talk briefly about why is this useful? Uh, I could imagine an organization where instead of making 50 different site administrator accounts or something like that, you might want to make one account and you might call that your service account. And it might be desirable to, instead of passing out the same username and password to all of the people who use that service account, just have a personal access token um, generated for each of the different people that might need to use that account. Now they might all have different personal access tokens, but they're all generated um, by some server admin on your team or by that account that's uh, the person who's really running that site admin account. So if you're in a situation like that, you have all these tokens, uh, maybe you have a lot of consultants working at your organization who come and go, you might periodically want to just purge your personal access tokens. Uh, and in that way, it might be nice to be able to generate these things very quickly so you don't have to get somebody set up with an account. Uh, they can use those access tokens to get some kind of job done, um, you know, programmatic probably like interacting with the REST API. Maybe they're building a user management system for you that interacts with your Active Directory and automatically creates users on Tableau server, blah, blah, blah. So let's wrap that up because it's supposed to be a short tutorial. I'm not supposed to uh, read you an audio book on personal access tokens. Um, but just to set the stage of uh, why would an endpoint like this even exist? So in any case, uh, you're going to have a bunch of access tokens potentially on your server. And rather than clicking through and removing all of these one by one, you might wanna remove them all in one go, uh, or even schedule some kind of script that says, hey, for security reasons, we just want to purge all access tokens once per quarter. Because you never know, maybe you had some rogue consultant come in, shady character, and you just don't want them to have those personal access tokens anymore. Okay, so this is the endpoint. And we are gonna hop into a Jupyter notebook and make the tokens we saw earlier. Let's just take, a, take one last look at these guys. We can wave goodbye, because they're not gonna be here in a minute or two. So in the Jupyter notebook, we are using Tableau API lib, a Python library that allows us to interact with the Tableau server environment. So we are importing a Tableau server connection uh, from that library. And then down here, if you have no idea what you're looking at with configuring a connection, do check out the getting started with Tableau API lib video that's linked in the description. Uh, we're connecting to our server environment. We're actually using a personal access token that's currently valid. So we'll see once I remove all these tokens and I come back in and I try to authenticate again, it's not going to work because this will be revoked. So enjoy looking at uh, my personal access token secrets here while they last. Uh, okay, so we have our configuration defined. Uh, then we can come down here, we can say, all right, I'd like to establish that connection to my Tableau server. So we say, uh, we're gonna store everything in this connection variable named con. 
And what that's going to be is an instance of Tableau Server Connection where we reference our configuration and the specific environment we want to tap into. So in this case, my env is the only environment defined here. All right, let's sign in. And that response to 100 means that was successful. So we can uh, just salute these personal access tokens right before we make them go away. So this response, in this case, the 204, we could look out here and see response code should be 204 according to Tableau's documentation. So that's good news. And we can um, even come back in and try to try to log back in again. Let's see how this works out for us. All right, we get a 401 response, uh, which means that we failed to authenticate. All right, so everything is uh, going as to plan. Let's see if we refresh the screen, if we have any more personal access tokens. Uh, no, we do not. And if we go back into the other site, we could also verify uh, that those personal access tokens no longer exist here either. All right, that's it. Um, hopefully this is helpful to somebody out there who's trying to uh, secure all the doors to their Tableau server environment and get rid of any of those uh, personal access tokens lurking in the shadows. So I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the future.